What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on our free-to-play account. We got a few things to do. First off, we're going to jump right into the Sky Labyrinth again. We're waiting to spend our gems to buy pickaxes because we don't want to waste any and save up potentially for the next event. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep progressing right here. Hopefully we can find some pickaxes as well. Found the exit, which is awesome. We claim that out. We're going to use one more active from this uh, Asmodel, and then we're going to swap over to Queen. Um, I don't mind grabbing that as a bonus. So we're going to go one, two, and then smash right here. Then we're going to hard swap over to you, and we're going to go to Queen afterwards. Let's see if we can get a pickaxe. That would be absolutely awesome. Right here. Nope. Nope, 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 nothing. <laughs> nothing of that was really great. Uh, but we do get to continue on, go down to the next level here. And yeah, we get 10 more of that Dragon's Tribute. Holy cow. Back to back pickaxes. Man, if only we could have got cashed that in right there. That would have been awesome. One, two, three. Uh, where's that at? Okay, so we can do that one, that one, claim all that. Okay, so we got some progress uh, and we got some more loot. Which means we can now, let's just double check. We're not buying those guys. Wishing Fountain, we're going to get five more here, but we got to finish those out. Most likely after uh, Aspen Dungeon opens on what? Wednesday, I believe, which isn't too bad. Viking Saga, let's go back in here. We now have 20 of these meats to feed off. Uh, we did get a pickaxe, and we did get some of these resources we need for Cloud Island as well. Uh, only one pickaxe out of all that. That kind of felt a little bad. <laughs> we only hit one. Ah, oh, man. There's a ton of them there, but we're just not getting access to them. So, let's check it out. The one thing we are really struggling to get are the stones on this one. We have tons of wood. And honestly, like, I guess if it worse comes to worse, we do get some of these things here that'll give us some other Cloud Island resources. I would just much rather prefer getting more of these skins overall, like you or, yeah, I mean, um, nah, I guess this one's kind of the one I really want to go for, but getting 13 doesn't look like something we're really going to be able to do here. Uh, we've obtained 97. Oh, so three more points in this event will get us to here, which is good. Yeah, it feels a little bad because honestly, I wouldn't mind continuing to upgrade and get some skins for the second plots over here. Uh, we do have a little bit of leveling we can do here. A couple of these, it looks like maybe. Nope, just the one, just the one. We're not going to worry about the founds right now. I just want to make sure we don't run out of our toolboxes. Uh, we got this one to level 55, this one node to 60, which is fine. And then we got all that as is. So that's not bad. We have also been just slowly grinding out more of this. We're up to level 23 on this node. Shouldn't take too much longer, but I'm really disappointed in myself for using those 10 cores the other day. Oh, on a 10 bomb, that felt so, so bad. Now, if we need to use profit orbs, we will. Uh, we didn't quite finish out the fighters competition this past weekend, but we fit can finish out the regular one to get more gems. Still haven't hit a seven star quest and we finished that out. <sighs> so let's take a look. Can we find anything good on here? Saya, you know what? That one's not bad. Let's see if we can get some good loot. Although I say that, but I would much rather go for dark four star heroes. Oh, but we really need Arania copies now. All right, screw it. We're going for the Arania. That's going to be the, one of our next build heroes. So. If we can get a hero copy, that would be awesome. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we actually hit the Arania. Nice. So that puts us up, what, to two copies, it looks like. So we already got two right here. Three, four. We're up to four in the bag total. We just built uh, Annabelle. Oh, I forgot we still need to build Azriel up. But again, we don't really have any food right now or any hero copies. As far as resources go, of course, we got one from this event, so that one's cool. That Azrael right there. Got two more there, so that means we just need one more. Yep, so we have all the copies of him that we need, which is awesome. 
Uh, actually, I guess we could use one of these for either one of those heroes, which is pretty solid. Still don't need to touch any of these resource chests whatsoever. We just got so much as far as resources go. It's kind of irrelevant. Let's just do one more check on our Lord of Fear Aspen plots here. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so he's still pretty much finished out. Uh, the only other thing we could try to do today is see if we can make any type of progress in Sealand, and I don't know if that's possible. So let's jump on in. We're still on this boss wave, like still legitimately to this point, waiting to kill this boss. And I think it's still just we don't have enough damage potentially. Ooh, he cannot run that offensive, it looks like. No bueno. Honestly, you know it's going to sound weird, but what if we ran our Lord of Fear Aspen like crazy, crazy strong offensive? Could he do anything here? Still running crit, crit. Very high crit chance, very high crit damage. And then just run like the AMB on you, which I think the AMB is over here. Something like this. I don't know if it would be worthwhile. We can give it a try. It's something I've never done before, so it could work out. It could go horribly bad. <laughs> no, he just instantly dies. Holy cow, we cannot run Unbending Will on the Lord of Fear Aspen in that situation. And he does need to be faster. Let's just see if the speed nodes here are enough. little testing so just unique because we want to try to see if we can kill the boss off like immediately nope he they all still go before lord for aspen we definitely need him to have speed then okay 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 so we're gonna have to stick with the speed attack but then we can probably roll back to the pure attack set up here looking good and then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our mock man into the front row like this like this, like this, like that, maybe? I need the Lord of Your Aspen to be the one that's just absolutely wrecking the boss, but it doesn't seem like he can do much damage here. Feels a little on the bad side. And he goes down, man. That's pretty brutal. He definitely survives longer in the front row, that's for sure, holy cow. Um... Hmm. What if we put uh, you in the front row? Maybe get some shields up? And it just doesn't feel like a lot of damage from the Aspen, does it? Really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. We have at least... Oh, we don't have damage reduction on him. That's why he's melting so fast. And honestly, let's change the crit damage to block. So he has just an insanely high amount of chance to block right here maybe this does something for us. That'll also make him transition a little faster. See, that's like good damage. We have to somehow like get a second active off on the Aspen. I mean, the taunt does help protect him. It's, it's close because I think if Aspen can kill the boss, I think Machman can take the, well, Machman might be able to do it from here, honestly. I don't know. Getting sealed feels really bad, but this might be the way. Hold on a second. I'm going to put you back in the front row. But it really just comes down to Lord of Fear Aspen hitting that boss really, really hard. Ooh, we actually got our shields up, too. That's really good for us. Oh, we need him to get a second active off, I think. This is totally, totally possible. And we now found the new way for us to do this. It sounds really weird, but it is the way it seems like. Oh, he just, he needs to get a heal or something. Maybe Melodic is like too offensive for him. Maybe we put the crown on him. Maybe? Like, I know it sounds weird, but like... Still build him offensive, but he's not getting that huge, big burst damage. I don't know. He's going down too easy. We need him to get, like, multiple actives off, it seems like. There we go. There's an active there. If he can tank and get a few actives, like I was saying, that would be good. 
Yeah, he's definitely living a lot longer here. He's going to get another full heal off. It's not a ton of damage, though. Hmm. Maybe we go back, because at least the last time we did this, it did work out. I don't know. It sounds so weird to have this team set up like this, but it could work out really well, honestly. Even the carry live with Lord of Fear Aspen Fear Effect is really good, too. It's just we're going to have to high roll on taunts and fear effects, I think, to keep our Lord of Fear Aspen alive. Oh, that actually was really good. Holy cow, he full healed as well. Fear them, fear them. No, they're not feared. <gasps> no, this is totally the way. I did not think that would be the answer, but it kind of looks like it is. So I think that's how we're going to continue to push on a daily basis. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Crown on Aspen. AMB on Mockman front row start. Really weird, but kind of worked. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.